All right, you guys, here's what we're looking at today. Um, they had a fire here and this tree got pretty burnt up. So they're gonna have it removed. It's a decent sized oak tree. And, uh, luckily, everything's gonna stay down in the woods down there and uh, we won't have to worry about cleaning it up. Junior have to just do a little bit of cutting and stuff, but uh, you can see how badly charred she is. So, unfortunately, um, this has already been, man, they did a great job. This place looks awesome. But uh, unfortunately, they just, they already put up the shed and all that stuff before they realized how bad the tree was and needed to get it out of there. So got to work around it a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be too bad. Uh, let's, um, let's get cranking. I'll see you at the top. Yeah, I'm probably just going to do some free cutting for a while. All right, guys. Um, so we're up here and we're tied in. And uh, I'm tied in with my... Uh, let me turn this down a little bit so we don't get no copyright. All right. So I tied in with just my ring and ring. But um, because I wanted to use this crotch, uh, I just flipped the ring and ring down, around and back through. And then I was able to tie in with this. Normally I would go around this stem, but I think this is pretty strong. And uh, I have more rope on my um, working side than I do on my tail side. So it shouldn't pull down and back through so much. Uh, but right now, I think we're just gonna um, hammer out some of this lower stuff and get us a clearing so we can see. Uh, I might save that crotch right there for pulling that stuff. Um, but right now we're just gonna go uh, Go crazy and do some cotton. So hang out. Oh, I think I'm gonna fix this buck strip too. Hang out and um, we'll be back in a, Or we'll get at it or be back or we'll do something even if it's wrong I'm 
I need a little bit of this. I'm a buck strap. Beautiful. So we're off to a start. I don't know if it's a good start, but it's a start. Where am I going? Of course I forgot my chest harness. You guys want to get rid of this one? I don't even know if you guys are working. Oh yeah, you're on. This sounds like Donkey Kong. Alright guys, so let's just get this up and through here, where it belongs. Good there, huh?
we're done here. Now we're gonna go over here and get that one. just recently picked up another saddle um, I don't know if I've done a video wearing it yet <clears throat> but um it's a the current vertical living uh, <clears throat> koala and um, if you guys are interested in that let me know but I'll preface this by saying uh, the reason I picked that up is um, we all know, you know, you're going to start oak pruning pretty soon. Big trees like this. And uh, I have this saddle built for removals, basically. I do so many removals during the summer that I have this built to be like rock solid. He it's heavy. You know, it's a heavy belt, but it's built more for... Um, removal such as this so that uh, when I'm hang hanging a saw for a long period of time a heavier saw big saw uh, 46 66 whatever it, I, I have no no problems holding on I mean the, the belt doesn't hurt my hips um, so I just out of curiosity went looking for uh, what is the lightest saddle I could get for when it's time to start pruning and the lightest one I have found that is an actual, um, to me, an ar arborist style saddle. Um, there's, there's all kinds of like hunting saddles. There's, uh, but you know, those ain't, those ain't what we're looking for. So um, the lightest one I found was this uh, koala. So I contacted uh, Peter. I don't want to say his last name wrong, DeVries, DeVries. Um, and asked him, cause he's, like the only one I really know that's got the saddle, the koala saddle, and try to just pick his brain about it a little bit. And off of his recommendation, I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, if you guys want to, like I said, see more about that, let me know in the comments and uh, we'll do a review on that. All right, YouTube, we're gonna set up a rope real quick. I think I'm gonna go through this crotch, 
over to this crack so it gives Junior the ability to lay the stuff down right there. And um, we're gonna go natural crotch because uh, I, I'll be honest with you, I forgot to put her out. So, <laughs> um, Junior's gonna have some, I wanna give him a little bit of friction so that he can, uh, you know, Junior likes to fly. So I wanna give him the ability to do what he does best. You know, Junior likes to likes to fly, likes to fly, likes to fly. Excellent. Throw some shit. Coming out now. Ready? Almost lost my camera now.
so I would know. So I'm just gonna avoid flying and make sure there ain't no saws down there. It's all tangled with my rope and stuff. And we put the knot up on top. Uh, <laughs>